How safe do you feel when you're out doing food delivery, when you're driving? Maybe you're driving and you don't even do food delivery. How distracted are you by your phone, accepting, declining offers, texting? Maybe you're a content creator, you're filming things like I do. Let's talk about these things today. My name is Mr. Bet on You, and on this channel, we talk about food delivery, ride share, how to use the gig economy to make money, build towards something better, whatever that means for you personally. We talk about betting on you, setting goals, doing it one day at a time. We've been doing this for about a year and a half. Appreciate all the new people, appreciate all the OGs. Now, today, I'm gonna paint you guys a little picture. I wasn't filming anything today. I worked a little bit today, and I ran into a scenario, and I wanna talk about it. Put your, put your, close your eyes, put your, you know, vibe with me for a second. Imagine this as we will. I'm coming out of the Chipotle. I'm on a, I believe it was an Uber. Seven bucks, like a mile or two. I was like, I'll do it. Chipotle parking lot on Hampton. For all my St. Louis people, you know exactly how that Chipotle Hampton area is. Chipotle on Hampton to get out of that parking lot. It's real tight, very busy street. It's not great. I needed to make a left out of that parking lot. Somebody waved me in. So they stopped. I had a lot of room between a car that was at the light, about three cars back, and somebody pulled up. And they didn't. They gave me enough room to come out and make a left. So I'm coming out, and you got to inch your way because you don't know. There's a turn lane on that car that let me go in. To their left, there's a turn lane there. There's also could be incoming traffic coming from the right. So I'm inching, I'm inching, I'm inching. I'm not filming anything. I'm being being as safe as I can be. In that turn lane, there's a car coming to make a turn at that light that's to my right. He's going to make left. I'm inching. They're probably going 30 or 40 miles an hour. Maybe a little bit. Late. They're going extremely fast because they're trying to make that light, which I think was yellow. Trying to make a left. I would say this guy almost hit me or I almost inched out and hit him. Whatever. Might have been my fault. I don't know. You guys let me know in a comment. I was inching. Nobody got hit. I felt the wind of that car. I felt that car. That's how fast he was going when he went by me. If I wasn't paying attention, if I just assumed, I mean, that guy, I would. it would have been a bad situation. Why am I saying this, right? We've all probably been there. You almost get hit. It's not the end of the world. This isn't to say don't drive anymore. We do need to be careful, right? We'll get to that later in a minute. But this much probably would have ruined my whole day. Car would have been banged up. Maybe somebody gets hurt. I don't know. It wouldn't have been a bad accident. It would have been an accident on an active delivery. Now, we as food delivery drivers, rideshare drivers, we put ourselves in countless situations every single day, right? Just by being in and out of our cars, getting in and out of parking lots, turning, doing this, doing that, being distracted, I'll be the first to admit, I am a distracted driver sometimes. I am. I'm filming things. You guys have seen me do it thousands of times, thousands of times. Um, you know, I, I, I have, if I'm doing ride share, I'm not doing that, but if I'm doing food, you know, you're accepting, declining as you're driving, not safe. And today I had a moment when I thought like, man, if I just would have, if I didn't have my foot on that brake and kept inching out a little more, or if I assumed nobody was coming in that lane, boom. And I thought, man, what would happen if I got in an accident? Like it just, my, the wheels in my brain started going like, man, I got to be a better driver, a safer driver. But then also it's like, we're trusting strangers around us to do the right thing and drive safe and not speed and use a turn signal and what we do. Just the act of the amount that we drive alone. Some of you guys drive four hours a day, eight hours, 10 hours. Maybe you're a weekend warrior. You're driving 30 hours in the weekend between those three days, 10 hours on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're out so much. Be safe, be as safe as you can. I need to do better. I need to wear my seatbelt more. Like I need to not be filming as much. If you've noticed, I haven't, I'm not doing as many ride-alongs lately. I do some and I film, but I'm not filming as much as I used to. I think for those of you that have been here a while can definitely see that trend on this channel. 
I'm not the first one to talk about safety in the gig economy. Many others have. Just something to think about today. And even beyond the food delivery game, the ride share, the gig economy game, when we're in our cars, man, all it takes is a moment for something bad to happen. And think about it. If you're doing 10, 20 deliveries a day, every delivery, every situation, every time you get out of your car, you get into your car, you turn the ignition, you're walking into a place, you're dropping stuff off, is another situation where something can happen. So just be safe. No delivery, no ride share pickup, no amount of money is worth your safety. At the end of the day, we got to get home to our friends, our family, our loved ones. We got to get home to ourselves to just start the next day. And today, I almost, whoo, man, I um, it just made me think about I, I can be safer. I could be better. I have to be less distracted. What about you guys? Share an experience you've had down below about safety. Maybe something's happened. Share it if you'd like down below so we can just talk about it and we can help each other. Maybe share in the commonality, share in the relatability of situations that we've been in, whether it's you driving, a road rage thing, this, that, uh, you know, picking up food, dropping it off. You know, there's a lot of situations we put ourselves in. I'll say this, though. I feel safe when I'm doing food delivery and even ride share. I do because I've learned how to protect myself. But there's a lot of things that are out of our control while we're driving our automobile. What do you guys think? So right now it's 5.37, just got done having a super early dinner with some friends I hadn't seen in a while. Um, fire the app on, I got it on right now, I'm dashing along the way. Back home, oh, look at that, 11.75, 5.6 miles, that's a good one, $3 peak pay, three items, fiskettis, fiskettis. So I'm really close to it. Actually, this isn't, I'm not, this is what, what I'm trying to get at here, but I'll talk to you in a minute. This is actually going, yeah. This is going on the way home. Look at that. Turn the app on, 11.75. I got to drive these miles anyway. That's an accept all day. Great. Okay. This was my point, though. Um, there's a lot. This, this is what I was going to get to. I'm going to pick this up. There's a lot going on in the gig world, the gig space. A lot's going on for us personally, financially. There's, We always have... Everybody has something going on. Good, bad, or indifferent. We all have opinions. All that, right? I just want to remind everybody, I appreciate each and every one of you that come to my channel, that challenge me, that disagree, that agree, that can relate, that comment, that like, that, that decide to even watch at all. I just want to say thank you. I've said it a, I've said it a few times, but it's been a while since I've said it with 100% like sincerity and like I'm really thinking and focused on that. I appreciate you guys very much regardless of whatever reason you watch this channel for. Entertainment, information, uh, tips, relatability, because you don't like what I say. I, it doesn't matter. I appreciate you for watching. And I hope you have a, I hope, just hope everything's well for you. I appreciate you watching my channel is all I'm trying to say. Because we've been doing this for a while now and I got a lot of videos. And a lot of you guys still watch and thank you. I'm gonna go pick up this food. Look at that, 0.5 miles away. I gotta drive this direction anyway to go home. I'm making money. This is fantastic. It's gonna be the last one I'll do unless they stack it. I'm gonna go home and try to enjoy my weekend. Have a good night. Little family meal action. 58 bucks worth of food. On the way home, make a little money. It might go up, I don't know. I'm happy. Got a little lucky, but it works. Dash along the way. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.